brought home so much stuff, I had to just donate clothing. Like, I could not fit all the stuff I was taking back into my suitcase, so I just had to not come back with all my clothes. Hello friends! So I just went to Emerald City Comic Con for the very first time. Anyone who said hi to me while I was there, thank you, I appreciate it, it was really nice meeting you. And to all the people that messaged me saying they were too scared, I'm not scary, I promise. Uh, it's not creepy if you say hi to me at a con and I would love to meet you. I'm gonna go through this stuff kind of fast. I met a lot of amazing people, I got a lot of cool stuff, and it's so much. Uh, I went on behalf of the store, so I have a lot of things for the store and a few things for myself. I literally just got home, like, this morning. Uh, I took a shower, I got all cleaned up so I can go to the store right after this. But I figured I would do everything all in one video so I can kind of show off the store stuff in one. This is the sweet pro pass that I got. The art is stunning. It's for Joy Ang. But yeah, the, the pass itself, very pretty. And uh, I'm going to delve into prints first and then everything else I'm going to do kind of in order, but the prints are just kind of big. So this is for the shop. It is a print of First Parents of Carnage, signed by the artist Randy Emberlin. Uh, it looks really nice. It's a really good size print. Uh, so I'm excited to frame this bad boy up and sell it in the shop. Which was also, he was really nice to me. It was, it was very nice. Uh, I only got him to sign a book or two for the shop, but very much a delight. I got to talk to David Mack for a while and he was so sweet. I told him that I do all the comics for my shop and how much I adore his work. So he gave us a print for free, signed to Cloud City for us to have like behind the counter. Little cat and signed it and it looks so, so beautiful. I did have him sign this book that I'll show later. But it was just kind of amazing and so unnecessary. It was such a sweet thing for him to do. Yeah, absolutely delightful human being. I did get to meet up with Alex, uh, one of the comic babes. You've seen her live on my channel here before. I'll put her Instagram in my description down below. But we got matching little prints. I got a Poison Ivy and she got a Harley Quinn. That's really cute. This isn't a little plastic that I'm not going to take out right now, but I'm going to frame this in my new place. I got this print for myself. This is from Nick Robles. This is the 1 in 25 variant for one of the Poison Ivy issues. And it is beautiful. Like, his signature wasn't very uh, obtrusive because it's it very much blends in. But this looks absolutely stunning. My room's going to have a little bit of green in it. So I'm very excited to have this stunning print. Nick Robles, absolute delight. He was there next to Toloski and they were so fun to hang around with. It was very cute. If you check out Alex's Instagram, I assume she will post pictures, but she got stuff signed by him and she just got it covered in hearts and it was very adorable. Um, I also got this print for a friend because it literally made me laugh the second I saw it, but it's a, just a bunch of meat. <laughs> the whole reason I got tickets for this event was because Lunar, our comic distributor, had us do a summit on Thursday. We did a bunch of meetings with them. Uh, it was actually really nice uh, getting to sit down and really talk to them. It was very promising and I, I really enjoy them. But, got this super cute mug for going. It's very large, so I like that, so. And speaking of Alex, when she came by, she also brought me a goodie bag of stuff because she's adorable. A lot of it was snacks that did not make it home, but we also got this adorable packaging for the little milky. Some face masks, some of her favorite tea, and I am a tea goblin. Adorable stickers, with little kitty cats. Adorable little keychain. This magnet that I'm kind of obsessed with. And I am not gonna try to remove this from my bag because it was very annoying to put on. But this absolutely ugly and terrifying black canary. I love black canary. I love how stupid this looks. Look at that stupid face. Ah, so good. Yeah, it was a delight to meet Alex in person. I'm glad she put up with me for a while there. Every convention I'm trying to get sketches from comic artists in my fancy sketchbook. I only got one this convention. As long as I get one, I'm happy. And when it's all finished, I'm definitely gonna do a video showing each one. It's probably only about a quarter full right now. But, this is the artist of Descender, and he did a character from Descender for me. He popped this out in just a few minutes. And it is absolutely stunning. I'm so, so happy with it. I will also eventually be posting nice pictures of all of these on Instagram, so if you want to see a picture where I'm not moving this all over the place, you can check them out there. All right, I have like some stuff to go over and then I'll go over the, the cool comics I got. So this bag was just like a giveaway thing that um, some company doing, I think it was discounted pinup nerdy, like boudoir shoots. Jezebel Bon Zephyr. 
but the bag was very convenient for bringing stickers and business cards home. This was given away by someone who makes books where you list things. Very cathartic if you've ever done anything like that and she was very sweet. But it was just a little sticker that she handed out. Alex and I also got matching pins. She got a Kermit the Frog and I got an Elmo. Little feral knife boys. I'm gonna do my best to tag every creator in the description below. I'm gonna do my best to hit everybody. And I also got matching sticker sheets. So she got the Elmo and I got the Kermit. And these are really cute. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might put them on my planner because I definitely wanna put them somewhere I'll see them. But they're very cute. Big fan of this top boy who's just exhausted, which is exactly how I felt after the con. This con was one of the most fun and rewarding experiences of my life, but also one of the most exhausting. I've never just tried to network all day, every day, and talk to a million people and be on, but it was really, really great. I did get this amazing Mothra sticker that I'm gonna put on my laptop. I have a Godzilla and Cthulhu already on my laptop, so I'm really excited for this one to be in the middle. Those other stickers are from Maria Wolf, who is amazing. Yeah, this is so cute. I love it so much. Speaking of Maria Wolf, here's her awesome business card. Super sick. She is always a big highlight of cons that I go to. I was really excited to get original art from her. She has these adorable bumble dragons that she's created, and I missed her every time I went over to go see them, so that was sad. Nick Rolls, amazing business card. I absolutely adore this cover. It's a very good business card. Good job, Nick Rolls. Got this very cute little <laughs> Bobo Pigeon sticker. I thought it was really cute. But I got this because I was getting these stickers. These are very cute Emerald City Comic Con stickers. And there was a deal if you got three, so I got two of these guys. And this one, and I really like these. That's a very cute memento. I got two so I can kind of stick one and not like freak out and be sad that I used it. Does anyone else do that? Does anyone else like get like, does anyone else like get scared of using their stickers because like it's gone? I don't know, I put it on the inside of that sketchbook or something. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna find a good spot. It's really cute. To jump on to some creators I got to meet. Jared Melendez, I believe I'm pronouncing that right. He has this adorable business card. He is the author of Chef's Kiss, who I love and did some Young Men in Love, but it's like very cute and sparkly. But this is like the most adorable character, obviously, in Chef's Kiss. So definitely check out his work if you haven't. Chef's Kiss is adorable. So I got this pin set with him. I'm so excited to put this one on my lanyard at work. They're so cute. I'm so happy. I love indie comic merch. So that was really exciting. Also grabbed this big old sticker. That's like a really nice like vinyl sticker of him. He had a Kevin Lava variant of the book. So I was really excited and I grabbed that. And he signed it for me. And one of the main protagonists is a gay couple. So it does say be gay, do crimes. And his signature has the little pig, which is really cute. But I love Kevin Lava. So that was a really nice surprise. I didn't even know this existed. I also had the absolute pleasure of meeting Jeremy Hahn. Uh, he has written The Approach, The Beauty, Red Mother. This is his cute little business card. He is a writer and I almost said he's a writer and an author. He is an author as well as an artist. He gave me these packs of stickers, which I'm going to give away with The Approach trade when that comes out at my work. This is my favorite one. It's really cool. But these are just like his little branding stickers, which are a very smart idea. It's a lot of uh, horror stuff and I really like horror. I definitely suggest The Approach if you're not reading it. It's one of my favorite new issues on the shelf right now. It feels very cinematic. But I got two packs, those little stickers. And then this very cool sketchbook, which he signed on the back for me. This is a bunch of like short anthology style stories, but they're really, really cool. I'm really excited to delve in. And I do have more stuff from him when I delve into my single issues. Got these adorable planner stickers. Uh, they're very cute. There's stuff like bubble tea and coffee day. I am one of those people who need to use my planner or I'm lost. Uh, so I was very excited to find this and it's very cute and very usable. I got a lot of designs from indie creators while I was there. Uh, this one is so cute. It is a field guide to bottle spirits, but this whole thing is so stinking cute. I'm so excited. I got a, a business card for them too. They did a bunch of cute signs. You'll see more in here. They're not really organized because I had to try and fit everything in my suitcase. I got this really cute one on bats by someone else. These, uh, this one and the next one. It's Corey Bing. Also, fantastic business card. Yeah. 
but that one's gonna be bats, which I love this dude's face. I'm really excited to read that. And cryptids. It had some cool cryptids in here when I was going around. Yeah, the art in here is really cool. It seems really neat. Yeah, those look really cute. There was this like double booth that was selling a bunch of like super indie like comics and zines. So some of them were from oh, Bull Gillahan perhaps. Some of them were for another person, kind of like splitting the booth. But they were all beautiful and they were really affordable. Like I think this was like ten dollars or so. But yeah, the foiling is amazing. This has little French folds. Absolutely beautiful. The art inside. It's all stunning. I'm so excited to delve into all these. Yeah, this one is like a tie-in to that one. It's like a little company piece where it just kind of shows like concept arts. It's like a behind the scenes for that one. This one uh, sold me immediately because when I was walking by, it had just the page open and the art was so, so amazing. I think this was the page that was open, but this looks amazing. Uh, all these are like really well made too, especially for how cheap they were. Like a lot of them were in the single digits. Uh, I don't, I don't think any of them went above $20. And some of them are thick, like that first one, that was like a trade. And I grabbed this one, which again, looks haunting. I'm very excited to delve through these. I love reading super indie books. This is a sticker from Mindy Lee uh, that I grabbed too. I wanted to get a print from her too, but I wasn't able to, but Mindy Lee, awesome. I had the absolute pleasure of getting to meet with Amy Chu again. I absolutely adore her work. And as a human being, she's very fun to chat with, but Camilla is an excellent read if you haven't checked it out. Uh, but I got her to sign a copy and telling her about my shop and how people like her work there. She gave me, first off, this is a great idea, stickers of like little cartoon versions of your face, but she gave me some of those for the shop and some Carmilla magnets. But yeah, always a delight talking to her. I'm always really excited to see her at cons, especially uh, since she does a lot of stuff near me, since we do not live far from each other. The creator of Twisted Dark uh, stopped me while I was there, gave me this for free. I'm very excited to delve into it. I was hoping I would be able to read it before the con was over so I could chat with him about it again, but I'll just have to email him. Apparently this is like the best-selling book in the UK, outsold The Walking Dead. Uh, Dark Horse apparently is gonna take like the first three trades and turn it into an omnibus and see how it sells. But apparently it's really cool. Uh, I've only heard really amazing things about it. They're just really bad at marketing and that's what he told me. This is not me slanderizing anybody, but he was like, yeah, we're, we're shit at marketing. We don't know what we're doing. Um, I really just don't care about it. So they just hired some media people, but it is all black and white. Very excited to delve into this one. I'm gonna have a lot of reading on my hands after this. This was literally given to me for free walking around. They were like, do you want a free book? No strings attached. And I was like, I like books. They all said it was a haunting lyrical book. Uh, so it intrigues me. Nice little hardcover. I just like reading. So it'll be kind of fun to read something that I never ever would have grabbed otherwise. This is, this is like a book book. This is a real book. Now this is gonna go in the wash because I wore flesh, fresh blue jeans. So I got a little bit of blue ink on them. But I often end up getting tote bags at cons, but I think this is the last one I'm ever gonna get. So first off, very cute. It says plant killer. I am unfortunately a plant killer. But it has a zipper. I've never seen a zipper tote bag and it's a great size. So I put like two store folios in here, a sketchbook, some more comics, battery charger, wallet, bank bag, a whole bunch of stuff. But since it's zippered, I didn't have to worry about anybody snagging comics from my bank bag. It uh, honestly is a genius move. Uh, this person was also an absolute delight. Uh, it's by Elisa Draws. I also got some cute little stickers from her. It's cute little succulents. These little sheet news. Yeah. Those are her socials. She was an absolute delight. I prefer not to have backpacks just because it's around my back. So anyone can unzipper and grab things. Uh, it spooks me. So I either carry stuff or like to have a tote bag for cons at least. And this is her business card. Her art is very, very nice. Now, as I said, I had too much stuff. So this is gonna be a little out of order because packing stuff was crazy. I just had a suitcase full of comics, a backpack full of comics. This was the thing that I couldn't fit into a store folio. So I went into one of these packed around clothes in my suitcase. I got Jeremy Holland to sign the approach number one. I'm so glad I had an excuse to meet him. He was one of the highlights of my con. Absolute delight to speak to and a great storyteller. George Yzma signed my Morning Glories number one. Max Dunbar is the artist for this Batman Beyond Neo Year book. Uh, he was an absolute
absolute delight and I am looking forward to reading more things that he worked on because he was so sweet and now I wish like he didn't really have stuff there for me to buy that I saw but he was so sweet that I'm really like gonna go grab more stuff from him 100%. Chris Robertson is the artist for iZombie so he signed my first appearance. Uh, he said you are what you eat which is really cute. He was very sweet to talk to. We sat and chatted about iZombie. I kind of wish I asked him what he thought about the show because it's so different from the comic but I feel like he probably gets a lot of that so. But I love the iZombie TV show. That's one of my favorite comic book shows. I found this in a dollar bin downstairs and then the writer for Plastic was there and this is a variant where this is his head on the cover so for a dollar I gotta find it, buy it, and have him sign it. I managed to grab uh, one of these on the exhibitor floor. This is the first appearance of Eka, Maya Lopez. I was hoping to get it signed by David Mack but I wasn't able to but I will show you the stuff I did get signed by David Mack and the other pile. I got this underrated cover signed by Maria Wolf right there in her paint pen. Uh, if you ever go to a con, I highly suggest checking her out. She's amazing. She's also like the most natural born storyteller I've ever met in my life. The way she speaks and pitches comics and stuff, it makes me feel like I'm sitting around a campfire and it's just, yes, tell me more, Maria. Terry Dodson to sign this. Harley Quinn number one, he signed right up here. This also has a fun little print error right here. You can see this weird little pink and green blotch that's not supposed to be here. So that's kind of fun. Here. Also signed this Wonder Woman number one. Fantastic cover. I kind of wish Rachel was there, but it was very neat meeting him. I got to see Ben Templesmith, whose work I adore, and I got to chat with him for a few minutes. He's very fun. He's going to be doing the art for Crash Down, book by Mr. Fire Guy Ryan and also Tom, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see that. And Wormwood was actually one of my first comics, but my real first comic that I was digging for back issues for was Fell which was by him and Warren Ellis, which never finished. Uh, but yeah, so I have very fond thoughts of Ben Templesmith. This is the book I got Randy Emberlin to sign. Just a solid, uh, you know, classic, classic Spidey. It's a good era. Uh, Tulowski signed She-Hulk and put all these little hearts around, the heart around a signature. This was definitely inspired by Alex, so thank you. And I'm so excited and I think this is so stinking cute. I love it. This is one I brought for David Mack to sign. This is first cover appearance of Echo, second appearance overall. He signed it right over here. And that's when I get to chatting about him, about Cloud City. So I managed to get these two books signed by him and it's two of my favorite books by him, honestly. I think this is like one of the best foil covers because it's just the gold and it's so cool. I love it. David Mack is just top notch, absolutely astounding. It was a big delight to meet Livio. The Kill Off was an amazing book. Uh, and I'm hoping to be able to get him at the shop for a signing because he says he comes up here to visit his family. But it was an absolute delight. Very, very nice to meet him. His stuff is amazing. Definitely check him out. This book is just full of little guys, so it's a really fun read. All right, I have five store folios and a little bit of bleed through. So I'm not really sure the order I'm gonna show you in. I'm just gonna open them and go for whatever is in a amount of time. Again, I was so pressed for room that I debagged and boarded all of them. Otherwise, I would have just had so many raw books not in a store folio or anything. Oh, I almost dropped everything. Oh, that would have been so sad. Oh, my heart. Okay. So this first one is for me. Ah, this is my X-Men 15. I filled in almost all of my missing X-Men issues. At the end, I will tell you which ones I need, but this is a great copy. So bright! Oh, I'm so excited. The colors inside are super nice. I'll definitely be posting this one on the Instagram if you want to see it closer. Slowly but surely I'll be posting all of my beautiful X-Men's. I also got this stunning Green Lantern 17. Look at these colors! They are popping off the page. Oh my goodness. Ugh. I believe I remember the interiors being super nice too. Ah uh, yeah. It looks way more white in person than it does on camera. So excited by this one. It's so pretty. I love just some bright silver books. I got that for super cheap though. I think I love like $10. Now yeah, the Stranger Things, not the Stranger Things, the Stranger Comics booth gave me this to check out. I've been meaning to check out their stuff for a while. So I'm excited to finally delve in. Again, I got a lot of reading ahead of me. Speaking of reading ahead of me, here's a few more zines. 
These are from the These Girls Press. They were all super affordable too. I was really happy with that. Not that I don't think that uh, you know, I should charge more for the work or anything, but it was it made it very easy for me to pick up a bunch of their stuff. I'm definitely gonna be able to try it all now, so I'm very excited. I'm just gonna keep saying I'm very excited and hopefully you'll understand that I'm very excited. While I was with Maria Wolf, I grabbed this Barbaric cover. I love Barbaric. I love Vault Studios. They're killing it right now. Barbaric is so fun. And this cover is gnarly, colorful and gruesome and I love it. Yeah, she signed right down here and right on the inside. Mm, you can see the ax. This book is so fun. I definitely recommend you try it. The first arc is three issues. So if you don't like it, it's not a lot lost. But if you're down for like some gory fun, definitely check it out. So I grabbed this from Jeremy Hahn. Uh, I could not open this at the hotel even though I really wanted to because I couldn't like open that without damaging it because I don't have a knife because I took a plane. So this is the approach number one secret variant. So let's open it up. I don't even have my pocket knife with me so I'm such a mess. So we just have this sheathed kitchen knife. I'm so excited. I really hope it's back and boarded. <laughs> I was going to try to hold it up and be super cool. But I'm going to hurt the book. This is such a cool idea though. I love this. I would definitely do that if I was cool enough to have my own comic in my own booth. I want to show you before I show me. It is bagged and boarded. Oh, that's so fun. Oh, we already signed it. That's awesome. Oh, this is this is very like movie poster vibes. Alright. Hell yeah. That's super cool. Especially since I really love this book. Actually, I actually have never seen this cover before and I thought I saw all the covers. Yeah. Approach, if you like some some spook, high recommend. I recommend Jeremy Hahn if you like spook in general. And if you like pretty covers, The Beauty Number no. 1 has a stunning Jenny Frazen variant. It's like before she was super hot stuff too. Alright, okay, these were stacks from a dollar bin. Got a nice house in the lake number one. This is beat though. It's not showing up as well on camera. There was a worse one that I left there. Thought about buying both, but Figured someone else would really enjoy it. It is a first print, but yeah, you see this big spine tick here. Yeah, there's some spine ticks. But I mean, Nice House in the Lake number one for a dollar. This is a fantastic read, by the way. This is my favorite book by this writer, Hot Take. Um, I actually haven't finished yet. I haven't read the last two issues yet because I'm so far behind, but oh, maybe I'll get to it before this video goes up. The art is amazing. Ah, I love this book so much. The first issue is also one of the best first issues I've ever read. I had like the closest thing to a jump scare I've ever had, where like when something happened in the book, I just put it down. I was just like, oh my God. And yeah, can't recommend it enough. The Dark Space is Wildfire, which is optioned. And it's a, actually a great Scott Snyder book. I'm not crazy about him. And I got another one. There were four or five there. I got the two cleanest ones and left the rest for other people. Two of these guys. It's also really good. I'm really into it. Um, again, I haven't finished it. I'm a slacker, yeah, yeah, whatever, but really into it. I've actually been liking some IDW stuff recently. And then Dollar Box, I also got, uh, I love Vault Studios, I love Mark Russell, I haven't read this yet, but it gives me an opportunity to try. Give me a Mark Russell number one any day, give me a Vault number one any day. I mean, these were all super cheap, um, they were all single digits. So for Batman, four or five dollars. Again, I'm gonna go kind of fast because uh, there's so much stuff. Silver Superboy, I think that was like two dollars. Plutona by Jeff Lemire, this goes on and off the optioning block. Jeff Lemire, man. Silver Swampers, hot right now. Saja Puri, give me some good silver stuff any day. Realm number one, I think this was like 50 cents. So, image number one for 50 cents. Fantastic 490, and it was just super cheap. New Superman one, I believe this is the first appearance of the new Superman. It's also an endearing run. Daredevil 31. This one, this is by Zach Kaplan, who's doing, or who just finished up Mindset. Absolute amazing book. I believe that was also 50 cents. Challenges of the Unknown, this is just really pretty. Kept higher number one. This is a favorite Zdarsky book of mine. And this was at a place where you got like eight books for $10. There was something where like I needed another book to make like the max deal. So I grabbed this because uh, I adore it. And Chip Zdarsky is actually going back to writing it right now. I really liked this. I'm so happy it's finally getting continued. It was in like hiatus hell forever. Silver Bats. 
It's a 184. That's honestly in pretty good condition for being a black cover Silver Age Batman that was unbagged and boarded. Daredevil 63. This one's still a little glossy. Fantastic 485. I love Fantastic Four back issues. I was trying so hard to get a Fantastic 413. Ugh. But you'll see what I got instead. I still want a bunch of those though. I'm gonna be hunting for those at cons this year. Uh, this is Oblivion Song number four. But this is the one with the secret little frog here. The regular version does not have this guy here. So this is like a little secret variant. This is only one of the best covers of all time. At my shop, we lovingly call this the bite the cover variant. But I can actually never find this for super cheap, probably because everyone else finds it as funny as I do. This kid crying into a pillow while Superman undresses behind him. God, that's so funny. But I found that for super cheap. It was like a dollar. For super cheap, somehow. I found a very clean copy of Spawn number one. Um, I'm surprised I found that this cheap because this book is like worth money now. But super cheap Spawn number one, I'll take it. It's for the shop. A Fantastic Four 88. Very tentacly covered. Kind of just really love this era of Fantastic Four. A Justice League 20 that's seen better days, but it's not the worst copy. I like these JLA books. I would love to get early Justice League stuff. These were from the Everett Comics booth, Sex Criminals. They had a bunch of just this one. And for some reason when I saw this, I was like, man, why is this creator really standing out in my head? It's because I believe they had a booth there and I could have got these signed and I'm dumb, but whatever. There were a bunch of this one specific issue. I got two because my one friend is working on all of the, the naughty variants. And I don't know if he has this one. Also, it's interesting to note, these are the same printing, same issue, same book. Uh, one of them has a brown back and forth, one of them has a white. Fishes flipped weirdly, but I thought it was very interesting. Yeah, two of those bad boys. Got a Spider Woman number one for super cheap. It is a little uh, moisture damaged at the top. That's not a hard fix for me, especially since it doesn't really. There's a little bit of color stuff going on back here, but this mostly just needs like a, a steam and a press. Got a super cheap power pack. I did get another one as well, but I might be sending them out for grading. They're pretty clean. This is like first modern live wire. Might even be in like. Real continuity. Also a great cover. I got this old plastic man. That's so cool. It's gonna do really well in the press too. I think I can get rid of this too. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Now this is Plastic Man 11. See the quality. This is so cool. I love this. This was uh, polybagged in one of those mailers that they send to people. Like it had their address in the back. I took it out. It's his first Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Found it in a 50 cent or dollar bin. Got a ton of Mr. Miracle books. I'm only missing one in the first run after this weekend, so that's awesome for me. This is issue 24. The last one I'm missing is still in the 20s. Grabbed a Submariner 26. This is a nice copy. Working on that run slowly but surely. Jimmy Olsen 89. Pretty nice copy. Very nice colors. I love that run. It's so silly and fun. I feel like that Jimmy Olsen run is just the epitome of the Silver Age comics. House of Mystery 115. All right, we grabbed a Adventure Comics 373, Tornado Twins. I love this cover. I almost launched that book into the stratosphere. House of Mystery 112, look at his face. Ah, what an amazing book. I love this. I love dumb creatures. Jimmy Olsen 111, great cover. Great colors. Mr. Miracle 21. Mr. Miracle 20 super cheap and pretty nice got a champions one for like 50 cents captain savage 2 pretty nice condition especially being a black silver age cover i do have one in three so i'm happy my greatest adventure number 12 super early i never see these that early i love the series it's so cool i love those slightly more obscure dc silver titles got a millie the model number one Mystery in Space 79. Great cover. I really love Mystery in Space. It's so like iconic. I love that big bold title. Silly covers. Grab these out of shop because I needed them for customers. <laughs> Not nearly as interesting. A Superboy 115 and a Superboy 101. Super duper cheap. All right, we got this clean. Superman 172. It's not actually clean, it's just got really bold, bold colors. But do well with the press and clean. 
Superboy 120. And again, these were all super cheap. I was baffled to see Silver Age Batman, super cheap. Like everything was single dollars. Single dollars. Yeah, I believe the most any of these were were like $8. 167. Bright colors. I love this cover. This is ASM 567. Look at me not know how to read. This is first appearance of Craven's Daughter. That was also a spec pick for me, but definitely surprising to find in a dollar bin. Betty and Veronica 87. Doesn't unfortunately have this going on, but otherwise, pretty solid copy. I think Archie's death is fun. Got a super cheap uh, static number one. I got it for $15, I believe. Still poly bagged. That's kind of fun. We got a House of Secrets 26. It's gonna do really well with a clean. It has like dirt sitting on top of it. I think it's really gonna come to life afterwards. Look at this pink gorilla. This is so fun. <laughs> Over Archie and me. This was in a dollar fifty cent bin at a place. Another power pack one for super cheap. Walking Dead Deluxe number one for a dollar. Very excited about this. Uh, got first appearance of Animal Vegetable Mineral Man. The same day at the con, I saw this for like like 80 or 90 dollars and i got this one for 10. so that's exciting but it's awesome <laughs> we joke about him a lot at the stop he's a he's a fun stupid super villain this definitely needs a, a press and a clean kind of thing but look at those bright yellows i'm a sucker for it another cheapo swampy super cheap aquaman wasn't nice enough for me to want in my own collection but it was definitely cool enough of a book to save for my 50 cent bin superboy 110 very vibrant colors. It's a little glossy. It's so nice. I love it. Ugh. Also, I love crypto. Lord of the Jungle Girl 19. Stupid, super cheap. Very cool book. Superman 163. This was for $1, $2. Definitely could use a cleanup, but worth it for that amount for sure. All right, we're in the final stretch. So, great cover. Great little dude. Strange Things 197. Avengers 49. I believe this was also from Everett Comics booth. Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen, number 75. Avengers 65. Mystery in Space 65. That's a fun coincidence. I'm very, very, very excited about this. Tales of Suspense 13. How fun! This is for me personally. I'm very excited about it. Love these big old monster books. Love Tales of Suspense. Tales to Astonish before it was all superhero stuff. Very cool. Look at them. Very excited. So you can't tell. Got an Aquaman 14 for myself. Very nice for the dark cover. Filling my Aquaman run very, very slowly. I got the Adam number six. And I got the Adam. What is this one? And I got the Adam number five. This one needs a clean, but they both have bright colors. And since it's for my personal stuff, that is what I prefer. I do have another sign. This is for someone who does not draw. Uh, he sold it to me as someone who, a designer who makes uh, fashion, a fashion designer, you know, words, a fashion designer uh, who's a pickpocket. So they design their suits to be very pickpocketable for this one person. And then they target people they sold their suits to. It seems very fun. A little, little fashion thriller moment. I'm here for it. Okay, this was actually from a half price books. Uh, first appearance of Spider-Man India. Uh, I don't have half price books near me. So it's kind of fun to go there and just immediately find a key. That was the only thing I picked up there. This bad boy for me. I'm so excited. It's one of the ones that I was really struggling to get for a hot minute there. But great colors. Beautiful, beautiful book. I'm so psyched. Really working on that X-Men run. Oh, I'm so close. And then I got X-Men 9, which also came with a cute little certificate. Even though I got this book at the same place, I got some other books. But this is a very interesting story. A bit here, so if you really want to read it, you can pause and read this. Cute to have something on a certificate. It is annoying because it's not comic sized. That goes with my X Men 9. So now I believe I'm only missing one, 11, and I'm about to pick up 13. So like that's it for my for my first 50 issues. I'm working on the 141, but I figured everything after that's a little easier for me. I grabbed a first Squirrel Girl for pretty cheap. That was exciting. I do have a copy that's actually not as nice that I paid more for, but uh, this is a bit of a spec pick for me. I really like Squirrel Girl. Got an Aquaman 7 that I'm psyched for. Beautiful book. I'm trying to get really nice copies for my Aquaman run when I can. This one's really pretty and it was pretty dang cheap. I think it was $15. Uh, 
Uh, speaking of trying to get nice copies, I have a much worse copy of this, but this one was pretty, so I wanted it, so upgrading, especially since this one was $10, so. So nice. But again, I spent like probably $20, $30 on my much worse copy. Okay, so this is Aquaman 2. Adam number three, I love this cover and I always find it to be very expensive, but my Aquaman run, or bleh, my Aquaman run is coming across pretty well, but my Adam run is going pretty well. That one is providing very tricky for me. These two I got at a comic shop. It was Ancient Comics down in Burien. I could be pronouncing that wrong. I'm not a Washingtonian, sorry. But this is a book I've wanted for quite a while. I looked at every single booth at the con because I wanted to pick up as many as I could. Didn't find a single one. I got this pretty one. I got to talk them down in price a little bit since it was nice, so I did want it, but I don't want to pay that much. But I'm going to do a video about this book very soon. It's probably gonna be my first like Silver Age lore video, so I'm very excited. A first Cave Carson for way underpriced there. I was surprised. It's a very pretty copy. I adore this. Look at this crazy cover. I wanted this book. I'm so surprised I found it for so cheap. Like it was marked as a key. It just, it was very cheap. I was very excited. I paid like one fifth of the price I would have expected to. Uh, these two books are from Fire Guy Ryan. He was kind enough to be my airport shuttle, uh, my little chauffeur this weekend. So uh, I really love Vault Comics. And there was this Nightfall book that I wanted, uh, and I was gonna miss the Whatnot show flying to Washington. So he set it aside for me, which was very, very sweet of him. Also, this book is so fun. It gives me all the good vibes. Very, very fun. And then also gave me a signed copy of his uh, super, super hollow crazy. Uh, first appearance of his book in the Whatnot Publishing, like sampler. Yeah, that's the only one on book I will be uh, buying for the store because I will support him. But go check out Ryan on everything. Go check out you know him on Comic Tom, and he has his own Instagram and his own YouTube that he doesn't really post on. I'll put it below just in case. But yeah, check him out. Say I sent you. The specs one out of the dollar bin. One of the comic shops I went to, I also grabbed. This was uh. It was two dollars it was something stupid cheap but it's it's french i love these i think they're so cool the binding is really poor so i'm not going to open it too hard but they're really really fun i grab them whenever i can oh there's rom i love rom yeah very very cool book yeah i love these i would love to get as many of them as i could i think they're so neat and then the last few books here i got are super cool if i do say so myself i got a first appearance of zatanna which i was not expecting to get at this con but it was pretty cheap uh, I think it presents really well. It's fine, there's a little hurting in this area here. Yeah. But I think it'll look really nice after clean and press. I'm gonna be very careful opening it, but there she is. Yes. Uh, super psyched to have this book. I wanted this book for a very long time and I figured I would never get it, so I stopped looking and stopped trying. And then when I was grabbing a bunch of other shop stuff at the shop, I saw it up there, really good price. Um, some books, some places I want to shout out that had booths. Uh, Seeker's Eye, they were very, very cool. Adored them. Harvey Ye Rare Comics, they were very cool. There's some very, very sweet, nice places there. I will try to tag them all down below. But I also got a first prototype of Spider Man. How sick is that? Strange Mystery 73. That's definitely not something I thought I would have. Super cool. Man, I'm psyched. All right. Anyway, my phone battery's about to run out. I gotta go to work and drop off all these books. But these books were killer wins. That's a whole lot of stuff I got, so let me know any of your thoughts. Uh, I brought home so much stuff, I had to just donate clothing. Like, I could not fit all the stuff I was taking back into my suitcase, so I just had to not come back home. Like, I'll take the cool books over it any day. Um, I'm gonna be trying to go to the Washington Summer Con. I'm gonna try to go to the Greater Philly Con and the Philly Fan Expo Con. I might go to some other ones, let me know uh, if there are any that you suggest. And if I see you at con, say hi, I would really love that. If you like this, please like the video. Please leave me comments telling me all the stuff that you really like. Uh, and I do my best to respond to any messages that I can. So feel free to DM me and tag me and stuff online. And definitely tag me on anything you got at uh, Emerald City Comic Con if you went there. All right. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate you.